Call me the Kiana. Call me the Kiana. Cause I'm thick now. Cause I'm thick. Let's live our best life here today. We're making all our dreams come true. Why don't you come along with me? Cause I love spending time with you. With you. With you. Spending time with you. Hey, dreamers. Hello. Hi. Okay. So, this video is gonna be... I kind of a life update in a way a little bit but it's more focused on body weight and the fact that I gained 40 pounds so let's get comfortable and talk about it so it's a story time kind of too so we go see what we title in this video but it's about me getting fat so <laughs> so I was always very very skinny I was born skinny and I stayed skinny until now and so I was 140 pounds for a while like from 13 14 to like 19 I was 140 pounds okay all right so that was the same with me and I guess I was comfortable. I guess if you don't know anything else, you just comfortable with where you are at and that's just your body and whatever. But my ideal or my favorite body type is like curvy, hourglassy, pig shaped type situation. And I like big butts. If you know me, if you have known me and you spend some time with me, you know I have an obsession with big butts. I like big butts. So <laughs> I always wanted one and I have one now. I mean I we could say I always had a butt. I was never like then had nothing, you know. But now I have a, a nice big butt and I'm really excited about that. That might be TMI, that might be a little too raunchy for some people, but I'm happy that I have a big butt. And I always had tips and whatever. Got that from my granny. Shout out to my granny. Um but yeah, so a lot of skinny girls get called out for being skinny. I was one of those people. It didn't bother me though. I liked being skinny. Because it just felt like right. I didn't really have to worry about anything. All my clothes could fit me. Whatever. And then when I turned 18, I became a vegetarian. And I was a vegetarian for a year. And it was June. June. <laughs> Like a year and four months, a year and five months, I was a vegetarian for. And during that time, I used to exercise a lot. And I got super, super skinny. I'm going to show you pictures throughout it. And I might just over over this explaining them. But yeah, I was super, super skinny. And I was getting even, even skinnier. Like thigh gap, clavicle poking out, ribs poking out. I was just really skinny. And I started to feel like frail. And got a little sucking thing and whatever so like that's just my face i was i find i was looking dry and i don't know if in Trinidad, when you're real skinny and you're like i about to break it's like you real dry you real mad so that was me and yeah so that was my situation but i wasn't necessarily trying to gain weight but I didn't mind getting thick. Like everybody's like, 2020 we're getting thick in 2020. So it's like, okay. And then too, when I was in Trinidad, I had a very, I wouldn't say strict diet, but I used to eat a lot of the same things all the time. Cause it's just simple, same things. And I then used to eat a lot because getting food to your house is a, i used to live on a hill so it's like getting food to your house is a whole thing so you're not trying to be doing that all the time so it's like i didn't eat a lot i i to be honest i greedy i look i could red eat i just red eat though so that's one thing about me is like i'm gonna eat my plate i'm gonna eat your plate i'm gonna eat his i'm gonna eat everybody's plate i greedy i like to eat but uh, my thing about being greedy is that I'll eat until I'm satisfied and that might be greedy to you but as so long as I am not 
taking stuff that belongs to somebody else and somebody else not gets it i find that's not a problem okay so whatever like when people come gay i'm just like shut up okay i'm not eating and for that eating more just because it have food i'm really hungry like i really want more so like leave me alone let me live my best life okay so it's like and everybody like when you go to america you're gonna get fat because there's like unlimited food cheap prices easy easily accessible to you and that's kind of what happened but <laughs> i'm happy about it so as i was saying now lots of skinny girls try to put on weight and it may be hard though for some than others and i never knew if it was hard or easy for me to gain weight because i never tried to gain weight or i really had a quick metabolism that no matter how much i ate i was still skinny and still now i'm not 40 pounds heavier i don't feel 40 pounds heavier and although technically with my bmi and my body fat and all of that i am overweight but i feel my best ever like this because even when i was super healthy eating being vegetarian eating vegetables eating right eating not a lot and um exercising every day like i used to do more body weight stuff card if i do cardio all my weight just disappears <laughs> like i get real hard so cardio and i started lifting weights or weights it's not weights but i used like substitutes to lift weights and stuff like that and i was just getting too hard and i just felt like no i wasn't feeling it and then i just stopped exercising but that was my thing though if i find i get too skinny i'll stop exercising eat some more and wherever and meat isn't my thing like when people be like cut up meat or i don't care i don't need meat i can eat it i cannot eat it and i don't think meat is a factor in me gaining weight my thing that makes me gain weight that i have learned now about my body is carbs if I eat three doubles every day, my hips are gonna start to ooh, 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 spread. And that's what happened to me the first time I gained weight. And I don't know how much pounds I gained because I didn't really weigh myself. But I was still small. I was still very small. Just not stick. And I started to get my hips and my booty back then. That was in 2018. I started to get my little hips and booty, you know, popping out and everything from doubles. So I'm eating doubles every day or almost every day and a lot of bread and pasta. I was, starting to, I was like, oh, my body can do this? Okay, let's go. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so I was doing that and I gained weight in my upper legs, so my thighs, my hips and my butt and a little bit of my tummy so it's like my hand still on stick <laughs> my legs from here to here still on stick so it's like all the weight literally just goes there and i like that i like that i like that a lot still poking out we still got the clavicle popping out we still got all of that and my hands are still skinny I can still do that like we still scrunny so it's kind of confusing to be honest but yeah how I gain weight what do I eat I eat a whole pizza by myself a whole family size pizza I'll eat that by myself I eat a lot of bagels and Italian style bread the thick nice juicy Ooh, I love carbs bread and what i forgot to say i used to drink a lot of smoothies every day as you if you watch my routine videos you'll see that i used to drink smoothies every morning and i think that also contributes to me keeping down my weight so smoothies exercising vegetarian life all my weight gone and now i don't drink smoothies every day anymore i miss it i think i'm gonna start back but i think i will just get like more protein stuff to put in my smoothies so i can build still I guess shocked. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Don't know how much to go. Don't know So moving on. Um, yeah. So smoothies. So it's like what I eat now is pizza, fries. Oh, I love potato. Potato, sweet potato, fries, baked potato, mashed potato, all of that. Pizza, 
pasta, I love pasta. Alfredo, mac and cheese, pasta, spaghetti, and meatballs, all of that. I eat a lot of that. And vegetables, that's what I eat. And I gained weight. I used to exercise every day. Because I know I exercise, but I don't exercise as rigorously as I used to before. But I still exercise because I'm not trying to swell up and become a blowfish. So, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, so that's really much all I eat. On my diet, though, I don't drink soda. I barely drink juice. If I do, it's probably natural juices, freshly made juice, or sometimes I, I, I love Hawaiian punch. That's just good. I like that. So I would drink that sometimes. Like I would probably drink one cup of juice in two weeks. I drink a lot of tea and I drink a lot of water. So those are the two things that I can live on for the rest of my life if I had to. And natural juice. I don't eat a lot of sugars. I don't. However, I lately started eating a lot of snacks. Like cookies and chocolate covered pretzels and cake. I made cake for the first time by myself from scratch. I might make a video on that, but I make cake. I eat cake. I'm eating a lot and just living my best life with eating food. I have to be careful though. So it's like, so I gained weight and I really like it. So we're talking more about body image now. And being skinny was okay. I was never. I, I used to have insecurities about my body when I was younger and people used to be on my body about it and then when I went through my little personal journey with myself and accepting myself and understanding the rule of my body and what it's used for and the fact that aesthetics isn't everything you just need to be comfortable in your own skin and then I'll just stop caring after that and after that it's like the most important thing for me to do is to take care of my body and once my body is doing well then I good and then being skinny, you, skinny people get, you know, some harshness from people. But people who are on the overweight side, they get it more often and it's more harsh. So, I'm not going to sit here and complain about it. It was fine. I was fine. It was cool. And most of my friends were skinny too. So, it's like not much of a comparison. And I had some thick, thicker friends too and they live in their best lives. So, it's like I wanted to be somewhere in the middle. And... Uh, my family does have a lot of people who are weight and weight is a thing in my family so i have to be careful about putting on weight and managing my weight and but now i am super happy i am the most confident and most happy in my body that i've ever been and you could i could see it i could feel it i my favorite time is when i'm showering and i can just see everything and it's like this is all me and i'm so juicy and i like it like i like it a lot so, yeah, I don't know if you could, if people around me can tell that I, have, I had a boost in confidence since gaining weight or whatever, but I just really, really like myself. Even more now. Even more confident. Even more you can't speak to me. And <laughs> that's bad. For people who come try to talk to me, it's like, I'm too cute. You can't speak to me. You don't deserve this. I don't feel bad about that. But yeah, so that's what's happening. I just wanted to talk about it and show you that I gained 40 pounds. And when I found out, because I found out last week or week before, and I was like, how much? 40 pounds? Because when I lost weight, I was 138, and now I'm 178 pounds. I gained 15 pounds because my cousin was telling me mm, everybody noticed that's one thing about skinny girls when you start to get thick everybody notices so it's like you getting thick <laughs> you getting fat <laughs> okay look at fat so damn joke sat already so it's like shut up i'm cute i'm sexy i'm popping can you see it okay no maybe not but yeah um so it's like everybody was noticing i thought i gained like 15 pounds and then the lady told me, no, 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 you're 178 pounds. I was like, 40 pounds? What? <laughs> and I've, I've, I took some time to process it. And now that I have processed it, it's like, okay, I like this. So I'm going to try to keep it no more than 180. Anytime I start to cross 180, it's like, no, 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 no. Back it up. Back it up. Slow down. We good. We good right here. I just want to 
got my tummy make sure my tummy flat or not poking out over my pants yeah that's not fun that's not cute don't feel right and keep my stuff toned so i started doing some more toning exercises and some muscle building exercising <sighs> and it's been fun yeah but everybody noticed and it's like you getting thick you fat look at my face guys i have cheeks do you see my cheeks <laughs> i have cheeks i didn't used to have cheeks before and i like it I feel more myself and I love it. I got my finger. It's bleeding. This past three. But yeah, that is all I have for my little update. I was all over the place. I'm clearly excited to make this video and talk about it and about my game. I'll show you pictures. I'll show you pictures of my before when and I'll tell you how old I am and in the picture. And I'll show you like the before and after situations. Body, no matter what it looks like if you're trying to gain weight but trying to lose weight just make sure it's for you and it's to get the body that you want and that is gonna make you feel better about yourself and as long as you're healthy it doesn't matter what you look like tell people don't mind their business okay all right but that's all I have to say on that okay but that is all for today's video if you like to give it a thumbs up Comment below where you are at on your way journey. If you're thicker and you're trying to lose weight, or if you're really skinny and you're trying to get thick, like what's up with you? Let me know what you do to make that happen for yourself. And all that. Thank you for watching. I make videos on Tuesdays and Saturdays, so click the bell next to the subscribe button for post notifications for more videos. If you like my crazy self, subscribe. Okay, bye, goodbye, goodbye. Oh.